Chuck Scatter here again. Okay, we're going to add mass as many items overhaul. So we just make sure that server shut down. We go to our Steam Workshop. We'll just type in mass. That's the one we want. We'll just let that install now. As a types and a spawnable types file, we, uh, we'll have to edit into our own files. There we go. All right. Now we can go back out of there. If you don't already have your files downloaded, you can do it cleanly from from the control panel itself. You just want to go to multiplayer missions, whatever mission file you're using them on. Expansion .chinors plus up to your DB folder, and there's your types file right there. You just want to hit on the globe and download it, and then we we'll go back a page and uh, spawnable types CFG spawnable types file is there, and you just want to download it too. But we already have them done, so we can come out of there for the moment. We want to go to our wherever you downloaded them to. I have them here. And then open another window. This you want it to go to your games folder for your mods. So that's wherever your game games drive is. Or could be on your C drive. And you just back up out of that for a second. A little bit too far. You just go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Daisy, and then Workshop. That's all your mods. If we're looking for Mass, we just go into it. There's that XML file. Alright, we got Types, Trader File. And uh, spawnable types. So we'll take the, we'll go into our other folder first. We'll take the types. We'll edit it, edit it with Notepad plus plus. Close that down for a second. Then we we'll go over to types file you got in mass mod. We'll edit it too. So the usual, we just want to take from the name. Scroll all the way down, it's a big mod. A lot of stuff in this mod. Might want to reconfigure your loot in your game for it. There's that much stuff. Lower other items. Lower the minimum and the nominal for the other items. Say like dresses and things like that. Things that you won't really be wanting anyway. Just to make allowance for the new items you're adding in, spawned into the world. So we go back to our types file. We scroll to the bottom. Oh, that's all the ammo. I can ignore this because I can get rid of that. That's all something that I was putting in, but it kept conflicting with another mod, so I ended up taking it out a test I was doing. Ammo Maker mod just doesn't seem to want to work with the combination of mods that I have. Oh, that's too far. I'll just get rid of that. And now I'll paste the new one in. There we go. Mass is in. Should be all good. We'll close that down and save it. 
close down the file from the mod itself. Now we want to go to our CFG spawnable types. So I, ha I have them here. Same again, edit it. Go to the CFG spawnable types in the mod. We edit it. And we just take from the start of the name of the item. We copy that. We can close that down. And we go in now to our spawnable types file. Right to the bottom. I don't like the way that vehicle is there. We'll just go here. It's after a vehicle, but hey. We just paste that in there. That should be mass in there now. Close that down. Ah. Should all be good. We'll just test that types file quickly. So it's, it's a big mod to be going through. Yeah, everything's good. It would have told us if there was any issues in it. So we'll go in now to our file manager on our on our control panel. We then multiplayer missions. Same again, mission file, expansion dot Chinoris plus is mine. I'll scroll up, spawnable types is here. So I'll highlight it and I'll delete that. Should be gone. I'll upload the new one. Make sure I get the right one. Spawnable types. There we go. We upload that. Just want to go down and rename it now. I just renamed it so it wouldn't be getting them confused. There we go. Just pop back to its proper name. Now we want to go into the DB folder. There's our type style. So we'll highlight that one. And we'll delete it. And then we'll upload our new one. It'll bring us back to our same folder again. There we go. We rename that now. I have several servers. That's why I have, I'm putting names in them so I don't get them mixed up when I'm editing them. We'll just save that. There we go. We can go back to our main dashboard now. Start the server. I hate the way it does that. We just start the server, give it a minute to start up, and then we join it. Alright. Check out the mass. I know it's here because I'm wearing some of it. It's all good. Easy mod, not the worst of them at all. It's already 
well well done cool man as ever folks thank you for watching and i'll be back again with another video soon i hope this video was helpful take care all